So if you have had a dream of being trapped in a box, the meaning of this might seem sort of obvious at first glance, confinement, restriction, uh, uh, stuck, um, some aspect of your life that you can't move beyond or see yourself outside of this position. So at first glance, this, this may seem a little obvious that this would be the interpretation of having a dream that you're in a box, but stay tuned all the way through the video. Cause I'm going to tell a story about, um, a woman trapped in a box. <laughs> so let's get into this a little bit. Dreams of being trapped in a box could symbolize feelings of confinement, restriction, or being limited in some aspect of your life. It might, might reflect a sense of being stuck, either mentally, emotionally, or in a specific situation. Consider the emotions you experience during the dream and how they might relate to your waking life. So some common areas this could relate to job or relationships or maybe where you're living. Maybe it has to do with uh, the house, the house you find yourself living in could be seen as a box in a, in a dream, in a dream symbol world. It could also symbolize fear, anxiety, like a phobia, claustrophobia. Um, and I think the big thing about it is that there is a desire for change. So when doing a uh, clairvoyant reading, if I see a box or a person in a box, the boundary of a box, it could even be the ceiling, a walled, walled in room with no obvious way out. Uh, the life you are living is on the outside of that box. So you are looking for the doorway, the window, um, what is on the outside of that box. So to illustrate this a little bit and how, how profound of a symbol this can be and actually can pretty frequently show up, at least as far as for readings, this, this is pretty common. So people may be dreaming that they're trapped in a box far more often than, than we would think of that. Um, there's a story that came to my mind when I was putting this together for this video. I remembered, um, it was in one of the Robert Monroe books. I almost want to say it was the third book, but I'm not sure. People were going to the Monroe Institute to learn how to do astral projection. And from what I understand, I have not been to the Monroe Institute, but from what I understand, you you have your own little um, meditation chamber or space that is soundproof where you, each person that's there for, for the workshop goes into this meditation chamber. And part of the exercise that they lead you through is to put your distractions in a box. You imagine a box with a big heavy lid. You put anything that is distracting you in that box at the beginning of the meditation. Well, this group of people that were there for this workshop that he was telling the story about, one of them was this just stunningly beautiful woman. And so every time she would go into doing the astral projection exercises, she could, she could, she could get, you know, lift out of her body, become aware that she was out of her body. 
And, but then she couldn't go any further than that because she kept finding herself inside of a box. So as the, the week progressed, it, it turned out that the, the men there at the workshop were distracted by her and they were putting her in the box at the beginning of, of the exercise as their distraction. And so I flash on this sometimes because this can happen in, in, in family dynamics in, in work, in work dynamics, not that people are putting you in a box as a distraction, but that foreign energy can play a part in in boxing you in so there can be quite a bit to finding yourself in a box in a dreamscape so i would i wanted to sort of like expand on this a little bit and uh i'm putting together some things on on my you can visit my website if you need to have further clarification if you feel that you're block boxed in, I do offer readings if you need someone else to take a look at your energy field. And on my Patreon, I'm adding videos all the time to teach more about developing um, your sense of your the symbols that are showing up in your life, getting guidance, having one symbol lead into the next, into the next, into the next bit of guidance so that this can become a roadmap. This is valuable information if you're having a dream, for example, of being boxed in, you know, just brushing that off and, and letting that go as, you know, somewhat unimportant, you're, that could be an important piece of information and that that little bit can lead into the next little thread so stay tuned there's uh i'm putting more more videos together adding more things to my patreon there's more to come